Hi guys and welcome back to another Switch Up review. Today for you we have Rogue Aces, developed by Intimate State Games. Thanks a lot to both the developer who had a good chat to us at EGX and Curve Digital. Rogue Aces is a great game for a quick blast or a full on campaign run. The planes use far more complex physics than at first meet the eye and there's plenty here to keep you engaged. There aren't a great deal of this type of game on the Nintendo Switch, so is this an ace in the hole or will it just fold? Let's find out. Campaign mode fills most of the play experience here. This is an endless, procedurally generated game mode, and as such randomly generates missions as you complete them. These range from the simple defend this ship from the enemy planes, to the more complex and tricky bombing run missions. There are tutorial missions provided for some of the more complex elements, of which there are a surprising amount. Take for example the plane itself. At first you could be mistaken for thinking this was simply a basic 2D sprite based affair with an arcade style feel. Wrong. The developers were delighted to tell us how they used a 100% accurate flight model for the physics and aerodynamics used in the game. I thought I would put this to the test and launch my trusty plane towards the stars only to stall the engine and plummet to my untimely demise. Colour me impressed. Take a shot to the wing, expect to lose handling. One stray bullet clips your engine, kiss goodbye to that lovely war boost. You realise quite quickly that the developers put much more work into the nuances of Rogue Aces than the quirky and arcade-like title would have you believe. The plane is equipped with bombs and missiles, only a limited amount, so managing these is important. You can restock these by either getting pickups from downed enemies or returning to base. There is also the hidden feature of stealing enemy ships, but again, I'm going to tell you a little bit more about that later on. You gain XP through your run, which goes towards a perk at the start of the next one. This was nice, but not enough was done to really explain the mechanic or the perks you were choosing. You control the plane with the right analogue stick and can steer it 360 degrees. The R bumper is used to shoot while the left trigger is used to boost. You can use A and B to fire your bombs and missiles. Missions do vary each time and these as mentioned before are random. The actual level itself is also randomised with different buildings, islands and bases each time you play. Despite this the game can end up feeling a little bit samey. You won't be exploring a vast array of environments or blasting through deserts and jungles, maybe in the next Next one. Combat feels fluid here and the planes handle beautifully. There is nothing quite like that feeling of smashing the boost button, which incidentally uses more fuel, and whipping a tight loop to get behind an enemy pilot and peppering the poor fool with a buffet of lead. Your ship is a flimsy old thing as well, which was good because it made combat much more exhilarating and the ability to quickly dodge made progression towards becoming the Red Baron himself swift. There is also an almost hidden ability to steal the plane of an enemy. This must be timed just as you pass the enemy and adds a layer of strategy, as you will no longer need to return to base to repair or refuel. With only three ships per game, yep, when they're gone it's game over, this provides a further avenue to extend your run. Overall Rogue Aces is a very addictive, albeit repetitive action strategy shooter. It certainly has that just one more run mentality. It would have benefited greatly from a multiplayer mode which feels absent here in the gameplay. So for me gameplay scores 14 out of 20, but those tight controls are deserving of a slightly higher 18 out of 20. If you like this, then you're going to like the music on offer in Rogue Aces. Expect rock tunes to be waking grandma whenever you play this one. Couple this with some nice sound effects and decent HD rumble as you shoot your main cannon or fire off a rocket and things are looking good. Well, yes, it certainly does a good job of keeping the action going, but for me the variety was lacking. I know it's an arcade shooter, but constant rock from start to finish just became a little tedious for me. Overall, music was by no means bad, on the contrary it was good and sound effects were okay, but the lack of variety could be viewed as a negative. Music and sound score 13 out of 20. There are a few things I can say that will tell you more than you've already seen with the graphics, but here's my take. For the most part they are decent, they run at a lovely 
60 frames per second docked and in handheld mode, so expect a buttery smooth experience at all times, which for a game like this adds much to the sense of speed and style. You only get the one ship, which was a shame. The gameplay loop would have benefited from even a visual upgrade incentive. There is a lovely day and night cycle which adds to the sense of time passing as you go about your epic campaign run, and the game looks really cool at night. It takes quite a while to get dark, so if you're on a losing spree don't expect to ever see the night time. Overall the graphics were okay, they fit the aesthetic of an arcade shooter perfectly, and for me they score a respectable 17 out of 20. Rogue Aces is currently priced at £7.99 in the UK or $10.49. I believe this is a sale price with the list price of £9.99 and $12.99 respectively. While this is good value, there are certain aspects to consider. For some, a lack of multiplayer is going to be off-putting, while for others, a tight, controlling, potentially endless arcade shooter with a much deeper strategic element sounds wonderful. I personally fall somewhere in the middle. Rogue Aces is certainly worth the price of entry, but as a big fan of co-op, it would have added something for sure. As it stands, it is a very fun, fast-paced shooter with a few hidden mechanics that add further to this. The upgrade system is nice, and there is a feeling of pushing deeper into enemy territory as the campaign progresses. Taking over enemy bases only adds to this level of strategy. The frustration of death is quenched by the ease the game allows you to get right back into the action. Scoreboards would have made a big difference to the longevity of the game. Competing with friends and having a leaderboard seems almost an essential component in an arcade game. Value for me scores 15 out of 20. That brings us on to our final verdict and Rogue Aces is a fun and enjoyable arcade shooter with bags of charm. The fundamentals of flight, combat and the mechanics are great and most importantly a fun and addictive. Gameplay can become repetitive but there is a lot to master here. The lack of any online functionality is felt in its absence but I would still consider picking this up if you're a fan of the genre and love a challenge. Overall for me it gets a switch up score of 77%. Many thanks to all of our new subscribers. If you're a regular subscriber consider leaving a comment down below and letting us know how you're enjoying the channel and maybe what you'd like to see next. Thanks again from Glenn and I. Keep it switch up.